Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your weekly reading for January 22nd through the 28th. All right, now generally my readings are love readings. This is the Ask Angels deck, so what you need to do right now is just ask a question and at the end the card will be revealed. This is typically a yes or no answer, um, a way to obtain the answer, timeline, something like that. So just go ahead and ask a question. At the end, I will reveal it. I have pre-shuffled this deck for you. So I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. And we are going to get an oracle card from here. Just one. I almost forgot. Luckily I had the deck out here, huh? Ooh. <laughs> I think you guys had this last time. This is a card of the chariot. Amazing, huh? This is you. It's you, Cancer. I mean, this is represented by the sign of Cancer. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so this is just telling me again, once again, you're headed in the right direction. All right? Yeah, I think many of you are going through a transformation of some sort. I see success. This is a success. It's a victory. Um, it's forward movement in a very positive way. So that's just beautiful. And it represents the sign of cancer. So, I mean, that's just, I mean, look at the deck. I mean, it's a big deck of all the cards. That's just, they're here, put it that way. That's all I got to say about that. These two fell out, so we're going to go ahead and lay them out. And I will try to remember to zoom this in. Um, you guys may be feeling like you're in some type of competition. All right? Like, oh, what the hell is this? You may be feeling ungrateful for where you're at in life. You know, maybe you may be feeling that you can't enjoy yourself right now for some reason. Maybe you're not enjoying yourself or you're not enjoying your job, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, there's some kind of tension in your life, absolutely, where things are, are stuck. You know, it's like you're not, I mean, you are going to be moving forward. You're headed in the right direction, but I think you're in a period where you're being tested, you know, your your perseverance is being tested of some sort, and you're unhappy about it. You're unhappy, and it could be your financial situation that you're unhappy about. Maybe you are expecting to have more money in the bank at this time, or I don't know why this is turned. Interesting. It wasn't turned before. Anyhow, um, it feels like you guys are unhappy, perhaps, of where you're at, maybe even where you're at in life, and it, or it could be financially. Um, it is a time of recovery. It's a time of recuperation, okay? Perhaps you're waiting for some money to come in, all right? Maybe you've been waiting for it to come in. Um, maybe you have to let go of something, okay? Maybe you have to let go of something that is connected to you financially because it's costing you too much money. I mean, that could certainly be the case. Maybe you have, you're getting phone calls from bill collectors, you know, and you feel like you're being attacked in some way. I don't know if it's from other people, if it's in a relationship or, or if it's from bill collectors or people at your work, but it just feels like you're up against a few and it's money related, okay? And, you know, I'm trying to get love out of this because that's what most people want. But if right now you're really focusing on your finances and you're feeling like you need to recover, you know, that's that's a big part in a person's life. So I feel like now you're starting to realize that you really need to focus on whatever this problem is financially. It's like opening up. I, I really have to acknowledge this financial issue that I'm going through. And that's making you really unhappy. With the Six of Pentacles here, though, it tells me that you could be receiving some money that you've been waiting for, okay? You could be, so just rest assured. 
yeah, there, you know, there's a new door opening. There's a new path ahead of you. So rest assured, it looks like you're about to go through a renewal. This is just a period of recovery, a time of recuperation. So, so chalk it up to that. Whatever is happening is is go, this too shall pass, okay? It's going to pass. It should pass very quickly. I see that changes are on the horizon and they're good ones you're about you you're going to have a new avenue or a new approach um you like fall right in front of you okay so uh, it feels like what you've been seeking is coming all right it is so just rest assured i think you're absolutely i do see a victory i do want to get this zoomed in before i forget so let me just do that okay I'm going to bring that card down so you guys can see it. Your card, that is. Um, you guys are heading in the right direction. Don't quit. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Because you are really, really going to be successful. Just trust me on this. This is a new opportunity. It's a new door opening that you are going to be very passionate about. If if you are single, there's an opportunity for a new sexual partner. Just telling, just saying. Somebody that will really give to the relationship. If you are in a relationship right now, there's a chance for renewed passion, okay? Because it feels like there is some newness around you where there's like a, there is a renewal after a period of, um, recovery okay there is some kind of renewal here for somebody and there's a there's like a new opportunity there is there's a new beginning here that you will be very passionate and excited about and it could be with a Taurus okay because this is the sign of Taurus uh, could be with another cancer as well because we have this here I see like there's a new door opening and you can't ignore it and you're not. It's like your eyes are wide open. You're ready for it because you haven't been, you haven't been happy. You haven't been in that best spot, that best state of mind, but I think you're moving right out of it. Wherever you've been stagnant and things haven't been moving along, that, like I said, this too shall pass. You know, I think you've been dealing with somebody who is probably jealous of you somebody that um, is very unfortunately cutthroat you've been dealing with somebody who's in it for themselves and maybe it's over with that person because this is the death of an idea it could be over you've decided you know what? I'm not gonna go down this road with you anymore if you're not gonna have an open mind and if you're gonna be malicious and you're not gonna communicate with me and you're gonna be spiteful and mean then I don't need to um, put my passion into you any longer it feels like you guys are really standing up for yourselves more than ever you're having that willpower you're having that courage and you have the and you have the confidence you're definitely mastering your emotions this week with this card and this card you are the master this week it's like you can't break me i'm moving forward i've got this no more fear no fear and that's what i see you guys are really letting go of the fear you're taking action in regards to your own life it's like i'm no longer gonna sit back and worry about what's gonna happen i'm gonna take action i feel like there's a cycle in your life that you guys have gone through and it's over it's like i am taking the lead here i'm taking the lead i'm not going to be scared i'm not this is no longer going to be a mystery i am taking the lead that's what I see. I see a lot of courage and strength this week. You're following your intuition, and that's what you need to do. When you follow your intuition, everything else falls into place. You're in your own element this week. Your beauty is out of this world as well. And this is for man or a woman, whether you're a man watching this or a woman watching this. Your attractiveness is... Uh, magnetic put it that way okay people can see it 
you are glowing, okay? Man or woman, it feels like you are right in your element. You're following your intuition. You're loving yourself. You are really doing what you need to do to take care of you. Congratulations. I love it. Um, oh, there you are again. You may not be... Um, Using all of your creative abilities that you have, because this is reversed, really remember all that you have inside of you. This card is telling me that you could, you have a little bit more love to give, whether it's to yourself or to someone else. It's reversed. It's telling me that you have a little bit more love to give. So just keep that in mind. Okay, this right here is... Uh, usually an offer of love of some sort, a new relationship or a resurgence in a relationship or emotional support, su support. It could be a message of love, but it's reversed. So maybe you're not receiving the love that you desire or you're not offering it to somebody, but it doesn't mean you're not headed in the right direction because now we have the chariot card twice. You are moving forward. There could also be some travel being planned this week, okay? You may be traveling or you may be planning some travel. But the fact of the matter is, this is a week of replacing fear with faith and charging ahead with with enthusiasm, okay? I'm very passionate about my future. That's what I see. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this renewal. I'm ready for this recovery that I need to go through. Um, I think, and, and you are charging ahead pretty quickly. Like, things are moving fast for you. Whereas they've been stalled. It's funny because we, this is a fast moving card upright, but the, and, but it's reversed. And these are very fast moving. They're both the same card, different deck. But this is like, things have been stalled for you. It's almost like, There was a shutdown, probably in your finance. It could be your finances, could be your love life. It's like there was a period of time where nothing was happening and it was a complete stalemate. And I think now things are picking right back up to where you want them to be. And it's all because of you. Okay, it is. It's because you're taking action. You're taking the lead. And you are doing what you need to do. And you're following your intuition. And you are being responsible. It's like, I have to take the lead here. I have to take the practical approach. I can no longer live on cloud nine. Okay? It's time for me to get my shit together. I mean, because that's the queen of get your shit together right here. Okay? It's time to be practical, and that's what you're doing. You're being practical. Again, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may be dealing with a Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's who I think you're dealing with. Could be a Leo. But I feel like uh, there's definitely an opportunity for somebody to come into your life if you are single. You definitely have that opportunity. For But for many of you, I feel like... You're moving forward where you need to go, and you're not really focusing on finding new love if you're single. I feel like you're focusing on building up your stability and your security at this time. I need to break, I need to get my shit together, and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to get my financial bank account back where it needs to be. And I really feel like that's what it's about this week. I really feel like it's more about the financial aspects than love. Okay, so I mean, I can't make this into a love reading if it's not. I feel like this is a, a period of recover, recovery of um, loss, okay? And it could be relationship, but I really feel like it's money, you know? I do. I mean, I can't pretend that I don't. I can't pretend. I never was good at that. I am the queen of pentacles, so pretending's not in my nature. We're going to try to get you some romance here with this. I'm going to get you one card. See what comes up. This is the um, Doreen Virtue Romance Angels deck. Yeah. 
Your love life is influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path. There's something to do with traditions here. Your love life is being affected by other people or your, you know, how you grew up. You know what I mean? How you grow up, grew up and where your, your, uh, calling lies okay perhaps you are not with somebody who is on the same level as you who is not on the same playing field as you is not on the same spiritual path as you either way this card came out for a reason religious factors are affecting your love life right now i don't know how i don't know why but for some reason, this card came up for you. And it's right next to you. So I think what you, what you really need to do is just replace the fear with faith and keep moving forward. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that doesn't have faith, now that I say that. Because really, the chariot card is replacing fear with faith and charging ahead. I mean, that's what it is. So, I mean, then this religious factors is right here. And this is over you. Or this other, and this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you may be dealing with somebody who is completely different than you. And you are being called to just have faith. Okay, have faith that it will work out. Anyhow, Cancer, let's get to your question now. You ready? Do you have it? Remember at the beginning I said ask a question and at the end the card would be revealed. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. Wait. Whatever your question was, there's your answer. Okay. I can't elaborate because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. And I don't know what your question was. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. What I see is that you guys are moving ahead with vigor. And you will be successful wherever you've been struggling. Perhaps financially for many. Could be financially. This too shall pass. Because you're taking action. If you've been struggling in your relationship, again, I feel like there's a chance for recovery. Where things pick back up. And that's what I see. I see you moving forward. Moving on. And that's what I have. Talk to you later.